Chacho's men load the deceased soldiers onto rafts and send them drifting towards the Wu province. The following morning, the residents of the Wu province discover the dead soldiers and begin salvaging anything valuable from their possessions. However, upon closer inspection, Juge recognizes the signs of typhoid fever and urgently instructs everyone to evacuate the area. He advises General Zhou Yu to burn the bodies to prevent the spread of the disease. Additionally, Zhuge implements strict quarantine measures for any soldiers showing symptoms, acting as a human antivirus to contain the outbreak. Unexpectedly, Liu Bai decides to withdraw from the war, citing the illness that has struck many of his men. He prioritizes their health and safety, realizing that sending them into battle in their weakened state would lead to their demise. Upon receiving the news of Liu Bai's departure from the Wu province, Cho Chao sees an opportunity to advance his plans. Believing that the timing is right, he prepares to make his next strategic move in the ongoing conflict. After meeting with his naval generals, Cho Chao instructs them to prepare for battle. However, he has another plan in mind. Cho Chao sends an intermediary to negotiate with Zhu Yu, asking him to surrender. Unbeknownst to Cho Chao, this was part of Zhu Yu's strategy from the start. After engaging in psychological warfare with the intermediary, Zhu Yu meets with Yuga, the following day to assess their chances of winning the war. One of the challenges they face is a shortage of arrows, as Liu Bai took his inventory when he withdrew. However, Yuga presents a solution. He claims he can harvest 100,000 arrows within three days. Meanwhile, Zhou Yu believes he has a plan to deal with the naval generals, so they both begin working on their respective strategies. As Shuka observes the weather and predicts an imminent fog, he sees an opportunity to harvest the arrows they need. Meanwhile, Zhou Yu continues to manipulate the intermediary by getting him drunk and deceiving him. A fake urgent call from one of Zhou Yu's generals hints to the intermediary that the naval generals plan to deliver Cho Cho's head to Zhou Yu. Believing the fake dialogue, the intermediary steals a letter from Zhou Yu, purportedly sent by the naval generals. This letter raises suspicions for Cha Chao, who starts to question if the naval generals are plotting against him. Concurrently, Zhuge has prepared a fleet of dozen ships made of haystacks, using the foggy atmosphere as cover. Shuga orders his men to launch a simulated attack to further confuse the enemy. Believing they are engaging real enemies, the two imperial generals command their men to launch multiple attacks, but their arrows end up getting stuck on the haystack ships instead of hitting any foes. When one side of the ships is fully loaded with arrows, Shuga orders them to turn around, allowing the other side to collect more arrows as well. Seeing this as a successful tactic, the naval generals return to camp where Cha Chao awaits them. Cha Chao accuses the naval generals of treason, alleging they aided the enemy by providing arrows. The generals deny the charges, but their denial falls on deaf ears. Zhuge's orchestrated haystack ship arrives, further fueling Cha Chao's suspicion of betrayal. Convinced of their guilt, Cho Chao orders the execution of his generals. However, as the events unfold, Cho Chao begins to sense that he has been played by Zhu Yu. Realizing the deception, Cho Chao comes to understand that his generals were not traitors after all. As Zhu returns to the Wu province with his ships filled with arrows, fulfilling his promise, he inquires if Zhu Yu has accomplished his part of the plan. Zhu Yu, unsure of the fate of the two imperial generals, prepares to face consequences by offering his head if he has failed. However, a message via pigeon arrives just in time, confirming the success of both missions simultaneously. Meanwhile, Cho Chao invites his intermediary for tea but poisons him, holding him responsible for the loss of his generals based on the intermediary's faulty information. Sung Shang attempts to send another message to Zhuge but is apprehended by Imperial soldiers. Fortunately, her friend Sung Shu canades in her escape. Cho Chao, eager to retaliate, plans to attack, but the doctor advises delaying the assault due to the soldier's need for more recovery time from their fever. Chao Chao then delivers a motivational speech in the infirmary, inspiring his sick men to prepare for battle. As for Sung Shang, she returns to Wu province and begins undressing, revealing that her corset is actually a map of Chao Chao's territory. This revelation prompts both parties to strategize for the impending battle. The province generals devise a plan to attack Chao Chao's fleet with fire to destroy his ships.